Did you know you can set up additional lessons to the main school timetable using alternative curriculum in Nova T6? This is typically used to schedule support lessons or music lessons where students from any year group may be taken out of their timetable session to undertake a different lesson. Let's take a look at how to set it up. Setting up alternative curriculum takes place in Nova T6 and then that information is sent to SIMS where students can be assigned to those lessons. The process of setting up alternative curriculum should be undertaken once the main timetable is complete, that it's scheduled, staffed and roomed. We start in data alternative curriculum. If this area has not yet been in use, the screen will be empty. In this data set, two subjects have been set up, extra English and extra French. And from here you can see the periods in which they are active, the staff that have been assigned and the room that these lessons will take place in. To set up a new session, I'm going to set up extra maths. We need a prefix, in this case EXM, and this is used in the naming conventions for the class code. We have an always active tick, which I'm going to remove on this occasion. I know that I have a teacher, Mr Yates, who is available Tuesday period 3 and Thursday period 4, and I'd like to set him up at those times to offer an extra maths class. The room Math 7 is also free, so we can assign that to both sessions. Sometimes you won't know what period an extra lesson is going to take place in. Typically music lessons can be held at any time. I'm going to set up music alternative curriculum sessions and leave the always active tick in place this time. And here you can see that music is now active at every period of the timetable. And this time I'm not going to assign staff or rooms to that alternative lesson. Throughout Nova T6 we can now see information about alternative curriculum, for example in the classes screen. Now let's take a look at the effect in SIMS. Once the timetable has been sent to SIMS, we can check the timetable of our teacher, Mr Yates. And here we can clearly see the extra maths Tuesday 3 and here Thursday 4. Assigning students to those or indeed any of the classes is handled in curriculum assignment by student. Here I have two sisters, Alison and Zoe. Let's set up them for additional lessons. So to add a music lesson in for Alison, we can add activity, click search and here we'll see all of our alternative sessions. If we click on music, we can see that music is available at any period. I'm going to assign her to music on Tuesday period 5. Click next. I can see her sister Zoe. Now Zoe needs some help with the maths area, so we can add activity, click search, choose extra maths, and I'm going to assign her to extra maths on Thursday period 4. If I now move down the screen, I can see her timetable, and here is clearly showing the alternative curriculum period, and as I float on it, it will show you what was removed from that period, in this case, 11x SA2, which is an extra science lesson. Finally, let's check lesson monitor. If we move to Thursday, and search for Mr. Yates, period four. We can see that Zoe is there awaiting to be marked present for this lesson. As you have seen, setting up alternative curriculum impacts throughout SIMS, including the assessment area where mark sheets for these alternative lessons can be set up so that they can be included in reports to parents if necessary. It is then important that all interested parties in school are included in discussions before its implementation. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like more tips on getting the most out of SIMS, make sure you sign up to the SIMS Independent Newsletters. You can do this by visiting our website. Thanks for watching.